हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जस्ट कोडेड विद सार्थक इन दिस चैनल वी डिस्कस अबाउट टेक करियर प्रोडक्ट एंड लाइफ एंड इन दिस स्पेशल वीडियो सीरीज वी हैव आवर गेस्ट तथाग ही इज करंटली वर्किंग एज अ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर एट क्रेड सो आज हम की आज की स्टोरी काफी ज्यादा इंटरेस्टिंग होगी डीप डाइव लाइक एज अ फिनटेक कंपनी वी हैव वी हैव ऑल हर्ड अबाउट द ग्रेट एड्स ऑफ क्रेड कि कितना अच्छा है उनका ऐप का यू एक्सपीरियंस एंड how he he has joined as a front end developer so how is the experience there what are the interview process that he followed how was the interview experiences what kind of rounds and what kind of questions are expected from an uh, from front end developer and what was his mantra what was his resources that he used to study from we will deep dive all of these things in this podcast so stay tuned till the end of this video to know all of this thing and agar aap the channel subscribe nahi kara to please hit the subscribe button right now so that you get all these amazing videos and Uh, without further ado let's start with the video hello everyone welcome back to my channel just go to the sarthak today we have a very special guest on our podcast series sathagat he is currently working at cred and he is a very good friend of mine we have worked together so today we will deep dive into his story his life journeys and his learning so far and we will learn more about how he was able to crack cred and her, uh, his previous companies and what was the learning so far so over to you tathagat thank you so much for joining us with, uh, for this podcast and uh, taking out time to share your life journey uh, can you share a little bit about yourself and your professional journey hey hi sathak thanks for inviting me and uh, yeah so i i'm currently as sathak told working as a front end engineer at cred and uh, before cred i was working with the uh, xigo so mm-hmm. i joined cred recently and uh, yes yeah, so i i like uh, almost 2 3 weeks back i joined cred and uh, entirely i'm working as a front end engineer in their web team basically so before that i was again working as a front end engineer at xigo so yeah thanks for inviting me looking ahead yeah. for a great uh, podcast session <laughs> nice uh, yeah तो मैं तथागत को काफी टाइम तो ही इज इज लाइक अ फिनोमिनल फ्रंट एंड डेवलपर वी हैव बीन टुगेदर फॉर लाइक वर्क टुगेदर अ लॉट टाइम एंड वी विल डीप डाइव की हिज स्टोरी कैसे कैसे इन्होंने फ्रंट एंड की तरफ मूव करा हाउ वाज ही एबल टू क्रैक इट टू गो सो ऑन दैट पार्ट ऑफ इट लाइक आपका फ्रंट एंड वाली साइड में कैसे इंटरेस्ट है एंड हाउ यू विल एबल टू क्रैक इट टू गो राइट सो बिफोर दैट लाइक मी एंड सार्थक लाइक my tat coding lecture i guess now where, mm-hmm. where i was interning at that time and uh, i was there interning as a full stack developer so from that time i was like i worked on both the back end and front end dheere dheere then dheere dheere i got like you know interested in front end majorly because i learned few front end things and then i i loved the consumer facing of any product uh, more than the back end wala part to be honest so once i like gradually i you know shifted from uh, full stack to sort of front end i still write some some back end code these days as well but mm-hmm. primarily i i i do the front end wala part more interestingly so i then again i after the coding blocks internship and all those things i <clears throat> started giving interviews and all those things so i cracked xigo and then i joined xigo as a front end developer in the trains wala vertical basically mm-hmm. so and i contributed like i i was there like for 14 months i guess in atxio mm-hmm. and during all those 14 months i was again working on the trains vertical only uh, in the front end team i did mm-hmm. not change my pod actually so i learned like the, the learning curve was amazing i learned many many things many new things to discover were there and the uh, good you know product insight and all those things so i got a whole some development as a front end engineer and eventually i just switched to cred recently then as a front end engineer again okay uh, but if we have to go back and discuss what was your interview experience look like how many rounds were there what kind of questions were asked are they were solely uh, dev, dev related questions or they were there were some dsa rounds as well how many rounds did you have so like uh, at x at cred right so you're asking about cred no for x again acha so for x go there were like as far as i remember there were Uh, there was one online round uh, 
uh, which mm-hmm. contained again because the interview was uh, front end specific because i was mm-hmm. uh, apply uh, applying for the front end engineer role so mm-hmm. the first round of interview was the online uh, you know online question questionnaire round of javascript all the questions were javascript questions i had to write okay. code and all those stuff so uh, once that round was uh, clear i got a call and the second round was uh, with some engineer front end engineer mm-hmm. over there i that round was uh, again containing the questions based on javascript html uh, front end question no dsa questions in that round as well. okay then the second third round basically uh, was uh, the manager wala round i guess and so the manager round had uh, again questions around the tech stack i worked with like react and mm-hmm. all those things the projects which i have written in my uh, cv and uh, a single dsa question i guess as far as i remember okay and then came the Uh, last round was with CEO and the CTO of the company. That it was okay. like more of a aptitude and uh, you know logical uh, round kind of. And then yeah, these were the four rounds primarily: one online, two and three offsite rounds basically. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, kafi sahi. So I think uh, basically if you are a front end developer and developer specific role, hai, so companies also prefer mm-hmm. that there are more dev related questions and not DSA related questions in that case. And since so, you have experience, so, so front end so... interview basically. Uh, basically if you talk about the front end interview so i would uh, prefer or any company these days would you know prefer you to have a more knowledge of your tech stack basically mm-hmm. are you able to develop a project you know using a front end uh, tech stack but which ever tech stack you work with rather than more more uh, more than the dsl go wala but if you are okay. like a bit weak in dsl go but you have a strong hands on you know front end stack and all those things you mm-hmm. you are able to build applications by using your using js and all those things then you always have a upper hand uh you know as compared to the guy who is a very good at dsl but a uh, slightly we got the front end wala part this is entirely opposite at the back end engineer right. interview makes sense we mostly focus on the dsa wala part and system designs because again that is something which is uh, expected you know from a back end engineer but yeah front end ke liye most of the company these days you know um, few companies also have like an application building round so they mm-hmm. give you an assignment a ui assignment and they ask you to submit the application um in like for three four days so most mm-hmm. of the companies are doing these things as well like in in a front end mm-hmm. interview all around or they sit with you and then uh, you know you have a code pair kya kehte hain code pairing session where you build a small prototype of something which you have told to build so front end okay. interviews are mostly like around building things and what what stuff yeah okay uh and yeah so since that you have uh worked on front end but what how was your story like how was your journey at itigo what kind of things that you worked upon how was your learnings there and uh, like how did you decide to went to switch and how to switch for the next company uh, okay so i'll start with the i mean the day i joined itigo see see whenever you join any company so there is a very steep curve uh, tech stack is a different curve and code base all those things are different curve Mm-hmm. but one of the major uh, you know curve is to actually get complete idea of what product you are working upon so the right. product inside the business business of the company that mm-hmm. entire business you are able to you are not able to understand very quickly like i i personally was not able to understand very quickly i took time to you know actually understand the whole product which i was working upon or which i was expected to work upon so the major learning curve is to understand the vision of a you know vision of a product from the perspective of a product manager so okay once you because because if you not understand the vision of the product or the you know the business behind your product so you won't be able to you know you won't enjoy contributing to that thing basically so mm-hmm. the learning curve involves these two things so one is definitely the code base you will start slowly start understanding the code base and the you know pipeline the process inside the company and then you right. second part is the product of pura vision so mm-hmm. this was a steep, very steep learning curve and it will remain the same whenever you join any new company the product wala vision wala curve is there so this was the learning curve in the initial days and then slowly slowly i went on then understood the product ke bare mein samajh mein aaya dheere dheere ki how are things working in xigo how exactly mm-hmm. the train wala vertical you know uh driven so then slowly slowly i started contributing sort of a task milte the i started contributing in the front end wala part and then with time i learned like definitely there are learnings in every contribution you do in a code base or towards the company so yeah i kept on learning things and then eventually mm-hmm. uh i actually started started exploring new opportunities when so basically 
a time comes when you you know actually start seeing more better opportunities for your growth or you know you mm-hmm. start uh, looking you you someday someday some something strikes out of into, into your mind and you see okay this opportunity is wow this is awesome should should i try it or not and you you start mm-hmm. trying the opportunity so it was a like my hunch which you know actually led me to start exploring more new opportunities and then i started exploring new opportunities uh, outside xigo again okay so for the audience out there xigo is in like a pre ipo stage right now uh, there will be soon an ipo and kafi jada famous company hai so working at that level of a company has a very large code base aur usko samajhne mein time lagta hai and makes sense ki whenever you such a company you will take time to understand what are the different format like forms that they use uh, how do how what is the process that you use for like raising a pull request and following the whole qa process or what are the different sign offs that you have to take so process mein time lagta hai and so this was the learning at xigo but uh, how did you research about like what was the learnings behind where like for the people out there who are trying to search for a job how should they decide to search a job when should they decide to search a job so like for the freshers it is a very straight forward question so whenever you complete your college just go go out and look for a job but for people <laughs> who are like uh, maybe like spent an year or year and a half in the industry and so mm-hmm. i mean my personal call on switching on on where to switch where not to switch is basically if like if you are able to you know grasp the not the entire vision at least 50% of the company's vision like suppose mm-hmm. there is a company x and you know what that company does so if you are able to you know capture the vision of the company like okay this company does this this is solving this particular problem this is solving this particular problem of the this particular section of the society and you mm-hmm. like the solution and you are you know you know you you know you are aligned with the vision of the company so mm-hmm. i mean that is uh, the the calling the, the you know deciding factor for me actually to whether to give an interview for this company or not so if if suppose i am not aligned with the vision of any company i won't just blindly give the interview just because wo company paisa bahut deti hai this is not the case so you have to like keep a balance on okay money is is definitely a a, a must but then only money without the alignment of your vision and the company's vision is a waste because ultimately you will not enjoy contributing towards that company in the long run so and okay. you won't you know you won't want to switch the companies in 6 6 months ka time so 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 something which i look upon is <clears throat> if the vision of the companies is aligned with my thinking and i, I like the product and i like this their solutions i'll definitely mm-hmm. give it a try and i would yeah. recommend everyone out there to you know at least think once for the company ka <coughs> business and company ka wish mm-hmm. that is so true that i can i can, I can definitely agree ki if you are very much aligned with the company's vision company's prospects how they work what is the business model out there or what is they are targeting for the larger audience what is the problem that they are targeting so aapko contribute kar dega to ek different kind of maza aane lagta hai it's not just that ki aapne task complete kar liya uska fun hai but jab wo task complete karke live jayega aapko ek alag sense of uh, feeling aata hai right and that that feeling is when you start you know you start owning the um, you know you start feeling ki theek hai this this is uh, as much as the ceo's company this is my company as well i also right. have to you know get this company running and up so basically mm-hmm. the metrics drive you crazy so basically you are you keep an eye on the metrics okay and you contribute kiya hai what will be the metrics let's let's see it so you are you know just contributing towards not you are not as an employee but you feel that this is your own product only so this is very important when once you know start contributing in any company correct and i think wahan pe tremendous growth hota in terms of your uh, in terms of your product in terms of your professional growth, uh, growth and everything because आप खुद जाके उस प्रोडक्ट पे ज्यादा कंट्रीब्यूट करना चाहते हो आप चाहते हो कि यार जब ये वाला बिल्ड जाएगा ये रिलीज जाएगा तो इसमें ये वाली चीजें फंक्शनलिटी और ऐड हो ये वाले आप सजेशन देना स्टार्ट करते हो इट्स नॉट दैट टू एंड थ्रू वाला कम्युनिकेशन दैट सम टास्क हैज बीन गिवन एंड यू जस्ट कंप्लीट द टास्क आप उसमें सजेस्ट करो व्हाट व्हाट मतलब मोस्टली व्हाट हैपेंस इज द प्रोडक्ट मैनेजर गिव्स यू अ टास्क यू जस्ट पिक इट अप एंड देन डू इट एंड कंप्लीट इट एंड शिप इट बट इफ यू आर जस्ट यू नो अलाइन विद द विजन ऑफ द कंपनी सो व्हाट विल हैपन इज यू you also will take part in the discussion and you will give mm-hmm. suggestions to the product manager as well ki isko aise nahi aise bhi kar sakte and that's my hunch and all those things so once you start doing this and you know you get in, get you start to get involved in all those discussions and you mm-hmm. keep an eye on all the metrics and 
you do a task but before doing a task you also keep an eye ki acha mai koi task mila to hai but what will be the impact of this task on the metrics mm-hmm. how much you know how much upside will this task give so these discussions only come into picture once when 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 only you are aligned with the you know company ka vision if you are just working for sake of doing task and getting appraisals then trust me you will just get task from the product manager do it and then take appraisal and same cycle continues and this won't you know Correct. this is very monotonous kind of thing you won't enjoy it in a long run i personally right. not in, i i personally won't enjoy it in it at, at any company for from for a very long run mhm certainly makes sense ki agar aapko us company ke sath align rahoge to there are very very high chances that you stick with the company for longer periods of time there is very high chances ki aap uski growth mein aap apni growth ko bahut zyada enjoy kar pate ho and also it does make sense because if you are looking out for full time role that makes sense ki aap usko uh, as a full time responsibility full time thing ki tarah socho aur cheeze kaam karo क्योंकि यार वो इंटर्नशिप वाला फेज नहीं है कि हाँ छह महीने बाद कुछ और मजा आया किसी और चीज में स्विच करके देख लेते हैं कुछ और ट्राई करके देख लेते हैं इट्स मोर ऑन दैट कि आप सोच के जाओ मतलब द रीजन व्हाई द कंपनीज यू नो गिव यू ई शॉप्स इज एग्जैक्टली दिस बिकॉज़ दे वांट यू टू यू नो एक्चुअली ट्रीट द कंपनी एंड द प्रोडक्ट नॉट एज कि ठीक है मैं एम्प्लॉई हूं मैं काम कर लूंगा बट एज अ ओन प्रोडक्ट यू शुड फील दैट ओके दिस इज माय प्रोडक्ट एज़ वेल कंपनीज ग्रोथ means my growth as well so esop yeah. zeneka the reason behind esop is this only ki basically you start feeling this your the company as your own company as well mm-hmm. yeah i can definitely vouch for that so basically whenever you get esop you become the stakeholder of the company so whatever the company uh, does in the next valuation and whatever so and so forth that growth is your growth as well because you are a stakeholder you are a part of that company you own that stock you own that equity like whatever the, the minute percentage it could be but that that shows that you are contributing at a very good scale at that company that is why companies are giving so much esops to the people and that also makes sense because at a junior level you are a smaller stakeholder but let someone who has a vp level will have a higher uh, number of esops and higher is a, is a big bigger stakeholder in the food chain so yeah yeah right. but not whether bigger or small but that particular person will you know drive his full energy into Correct. the company's uh, growth so that is the point that is the driving uh, you know not mm-hmm. again not the independent uh, reason for giving esops but this is one of the reason why company i guess according to me why company give esops to their employees yeah i think that's definitely one of the major reasons that esops are worth so much right now and people are definitely asking for more and more esops also Uh, so folks, with this we come to the end of part one of this video with Tathagat. I hope आपको ये journey काफी interesting लगी होगी with working at companies, working uh, at the college journey, like how he was into mentorship, front end development and everything. And now we will deep dive into his journey towards cred. कि cred का कैसे उन्होंने apply करा, what was the process there, what was the interview rounds, and how has been life at working as a cred. So stay tuned till the uh, for the part two, which will be dropping down tomorrow. We will deep dive into all of these things tomorrow, and you will get an amazing video. एंड अभी तक अगर अपने दोस्तों ये वीडियो अच्छी लगी तो शेयर करें इसको लाइक करें एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड आई विल सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो बाय बाय एंड थैंक यू द सपोर्टर ऑफ दिस चैनल न्यूटन स्कूल सो गाइस व्हाट इज न्यूटन स्कूल न्यूटन स्कूल एक एड टेक स्टार्टअप है जहाँ पे यू कैन लर्न मोर अबाउट डिफरेंट टेक्नोलॉजीज आउट दिस दे विल हेल्प यू गेट जॉब ऑफर फ्रॉम दीज टॉप टेक कंपनीज एंड उनका एक बहुत ही अच्छा प्रोग्राम है जहाँ पे आपको एक रुपया भी पे नहीं करना है जब तक आपके इन कंपनीज में जॉब नहीं लग जाता दे हैव वेरी गुड ऑफरिंग्स विद दिस कोर्स लाइव क्लासेस इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोजेक्ट्स मॉक इंटरव्यूज एंड पर्सनल मेंटरिंग आई वुड पुट द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड आई सजेस्ट यू ऑल टू चेक दिस आउट एंड एक्सप्लोर देयर कोर्सेज